Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of Kotlin tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can make your variable in Kotlin. This was a simple hello world <coughs> which we passed in the previous videos. So, in this video, I will show you how you can make variable. If you followed my Java tutorial, uh, I learned you uh, how how many variable type you have in Java. All variable uh, type uh, you have in Java, uh, it is also in Kotlin. Kotlin is available. For example, string integer double but something here is different in java was with a lower case but in kotlin is with upper case okay long short char and etc first when you make a variable uh, as as like as javascript you choose var okay for example var a comment also is as like as java var a is equal to 100 or where a is equal to hello world. when you do not uh, specify the type of a variable it means it can uh, it can hold any type any literal for example this a now is uh, now are holding I think okay as you can see there is a print for us hello if I change if I reassign new value uh, here is some warning it shows us the integer literal does not confirm the expected type stream what meant that when you uh, at the first time when you make a variable and when you pass an string uh, the variable uh, the variable uh, its uh, type automatically will specify uh, string because at the first time we assign an e string to variable a so the type of a is now an e string but if we make this 100 there is no problem okay but if if I want to change this a is equal to hello world we cannot because at the first time we assigned 100 this means uh, this means the type of a uh, now uh, are specified in an integer but we cannot again reassign a string value okay required in it as you can see it is required need but I can reassign a new value to handle okay this is not a problem okay now it works nice but if I want but uh, if 
f uh, you can uh, uh, you can specify the type of a variable as like a javascript es6 uh, just after your variable na uh, variable name uh, you put a colon then the type uh, any means variable uh, can be anything okay now you can uh, when you uh, specify the type of a variable any this means you can uh, assign any variable now as you can see here is no no problem hello all first time first time you as you can see first time we specified an integer value 100 but we again reassign a string value to this a because type of a is any as you can see here is hello world but if I remove this type we cannot reassign a new string because the type of a is now uh, now is uh, integer okay so I want to uh, specify this type uh, now I want to show you a different bit pen between var and var if you have var now the type of variable a is in it and it uh, uh, defined by var now uh, I make reassign new value for example 14 okay 400 this is 400 now if I run my application there is no problem but if I make this val this means final uh, as, as you have in Java if you make uh, uh, if you define a variable uh, with val keyword uh, that time uh, you cannot uh, you cannot reassign new value to that variable as you can see here is val cannot be reassigned because it is final okay Mm. as you can see you have uh, long also you can have variable c byte also for example okay cannot assign 128 okay var d short okay var e As you can see here is a problem because this is not a double value now it is double var f can be char for example a cannot put 
two character just one character var g can be an string can be any string for example hello dear friends please subscribe to my channel war edge for example boolean true or false okay this is all the type uh, we have in Kotlin also uh, we may have something else that right now uh, this is enough for us for uh, with working with Kotlin okay also you have something like this uh, well T any this means any value okay for example hello friends war Q unit use get used and method uh, this is as like as void which do not return some value okay okay as you can see now if you have the integer letter lateral does not confirm the expected type in it okay also if you have string also it cannot be accepted just this means you need does not return anything okay does not return anything if you have a var mm, and also in it long byte short double char string boolean any for example if we have in it we cannot have uh, something like this okay because we should have some value like this okay but unit does not does not return anything okay and there is no problem okay there is no problem this was all the variable uh, we have uh, in Kotlin also we have some uh, more other variable type which we will learn in the next license thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye